Oh! God damn, I hit you in the face, I'm sorry. video we are doing a vacation prep vlog I actually I accidentally deleted my first intro for this video so we're gonna be jumping in at the part where I am talking about how my shopping trip for my shoes didn't work out and we're gonna be on our way to go shopping and get our hair done uh, which I already have right now so this is a little sneak peek into the vlog but without further ado let's get right into it because it's a fit and it'll be a lit make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and enjoy the prep because we really fit in the prep prep we going shopping we get our hair done we getting our nails done we doing all of that so let's see hey y'all so quick update it's a dark as shit it's so gloomy in maryland adidas <laughs> Might as well sponsor me at this point but yeah so uh the last time y'all saw me was yesterday um i did go to the store but i didn't buy anything because they didn't have anything they didn't have anything i want i was mainly looking for some sneakers that my hair appointment was at seven o'clock in the morning today so i didn't start taking out my weave until like Maybe like 10, 11 o'clock at night. But that shit took forever to take out like the little glue and the other stuff that my stylist had put on my hair to kind of protect my hair. It was just like all stuck in my hair. And like I hope my braid stylist don't be like cursing me out and be like what the heck. Because y'all I don't, I be paying extra to get my hair washed. First of all it feels good. <laughs> Second of all like. If I'm getting my hair done, I'm just, I just want the whole package. I just want you to wash my hair, too, like, in person. Let me go this way, because I don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm not that much of a morning person, so I set my alarm um, to wake up so I could make my appointment on time. And tell me why my phone had, like, cut off in the middle of the night. Like, it, I don't know if it died or something, but it would be weird if it died, because when I went to sleep, it was on, like, 50%. So... It doesn't make sense for it to have died but it was cut off so i woke up at like 707 i woke up exactly at 707 and i was like oh my god and i like was trying to turn on my phone and it would not turn on it took forever for it to turn on mm -hmm. okay that was rude my phone my camera just cut off i guess my cart was full but um and once it come back on my stylist had texted me and was like oh my god girl can we um push it back to to 9 30 because i mean 7 30 because i thought your appointment was at 9 30 i was like oh my god thank god because i was fitting it because she's like one of the, she's usually like super professional she still is professional but i think she was looking at the wrong day for her books so she's one of those people like if you're late you're done like and i would have been so blown so her next available time was 2 30 so i'm just thankful that i got a hair slot because and now we're about to be on our way to the mall so crunch time i got like a not that long to be in the mall plus i don't like malls like give me anxiety so i'm just going to try to find something try to find some sneakers and try to find some little fits for the trip and then i'm go get my hair done hopefully i get time have time to get lunch though and uh, excuse me i love to burp i'm about to go in here I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I got this fat ass camera. Look at my double chair. Mm -mm -mm. These are the best masks. Like, oh y'all, I'm turning into a real YouTuber. Remember, I always like let my battery die and shit, and then I'd be like, damn, I didn't bring no backup or anything. Check me out. Not only do I don't mind a jump. Not only do I have a backup, I also have my battery pack, and I'm letting it charge in the car period and i got two extra who am i 
Who am I? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. Okay. Period. Alright, let's go in here. Guys, let's go. And then I do want to let you know they're final sales. So once I open them and put them in the alcohol pad and put them back in the box, they're final sales. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, is your receipt okay, you guys? Oh, yes, that's fine. I'm ready. Had to buy Aubrey some earrings because sis keep losing hers. I would hate to have this job where you gotta like try to sell stuff in the middle of the store. Like, because they began curry, they began smurf. Like, they got a whole Peloton booth. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing. I'm gonna spend this holiday logging. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. Sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo Told cool, be a fool with the shit Told her don't let her friends know In the building, I move like a dime Even better cheat me a Vincenzo I like to call it a passion I can be sitting relaxed PG, we getting some traction I'm at the venue, it's packing Alright y'all, I'm back in the car <sighs> Bitch, it's hot Can I go back in here and go to the bathroom? Uh, 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 uh I was in the mall in general for like an hour, I think. What time is it? Yeah. So I'm about to go use the bathroom. I'm going to find something to eat and then we're going to head to our hair appointment. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I look like a crackhead. I'm not even going to hold you. But I'm here. I got here early. Well, I got here because I was going to go get something to eat. But she just texted me and said, I finished my last client early so you could come in. So I think I'm just going to skip lunch and go get my hair done. And um, I'll just eat afterwards. I should be fine. I just I just had my coffee and my water. So that should help me over for whatever time it takes, like two hours. What you think? I don't think, you I, think I look cute with blonde. You I, I think so. You're going to do a mix though. You're going to do it all straight. What you mean? Like you're gonna do it, all, you're gonna put it only at the end, you're gonna put it all the way through. I wanted to do it all the way through, but I'm too scared, so I think at the end. What's the difference? I thought I was gonna do it. Your roof's gonna be dark. Oh, you gonna do it right here, too. Sorry. I think my cousin working here somewhere. Um, Fox yeah, she worked in the back. That's your cousin? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's little George. She know another one. She isn't. She's not little anymore. For real? Or is it by the day? I would like to get to know. I got a large, um, YouTube. not this braids. I look so like oily and it'll look better when I have my eyebrows done and my makeup and stuff like that. But yeah, they like waist length. Yes. If y'all in the DMV area, check out Brittany. I think it's 
braids by Brittany Bub, something like that. So I'll put her information in the description box. I got the large knotless braid. She does um, jumbo, large, medium, medium, small, and I think micro or something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely check her out. They are my stuff delivered to my house. Thank God I got nice neighbors that like were actually bringing back. But um, this is what I was talking about. I got some new wax beads. I saw this on Kayla Cake's channel. I decided to get these because she really likes them. Um, I got my Zara bag and I also got some packages. Hold on. So I got a package from. Oh, this is my Brandon Blackwood bag. I bought that bag. And then I got... I want to see the earrings. And then I got the, this. I bought all these earrings, so she want to see them. Um, but I'm doing a collective haul after my trip. So I might show you some stuff, like some pieces, when I pack. And then if you watched my vlog, my actual um, trip vlog, then you'll probably see me in some of the stuff but I'm not gonna like show y'all but I did want to show you these shoes that I got from Zara because I thought they were the cutest things these these give me like grandma like church shoes but it also give me like sexy sex in the city type of vibes like I love them they're so freaking cute they were like $50 from Zara, they like a kitten heel, but they not a quick kitten heel, and they got like a square back. That's what I really like, and I like a pointy toe shoe that's pointy, but that's not too narrow. If that makes sense. These are the earrings. Wow, I love them. You love them. I'm gonna put them in your ear in a little bit after I give you your cereal. Set my ninja. <laughs> the ghetto. So it's the next day. My lips still look black. What's new? I don't smoke cigarettes, y'all. It's just, my lips get sunburned and I don't know. Anyways, I'm cold. Last time I got my nails done, I did a poll and I on my Instagram. So you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I let y'all pick which set I should get. And that's the set I got. And my dumbass never like revealed the set. Partially because I suck and the other reason is because I didn't get to do a reels vlog and I wanted to reveal it in a reels vlog and not a reels vlog a reels girl a reels and when I don't get to do something that I plan on doing I get upset so yeah so we're about to go get the nails done uh, excuse me yeah I know I want to get something short I like to look at Pinterest oh this is cute it's a little bit too much for me though so, I'm thinking about doing these. Like something like that. Isn't that cute? Or maybe something like this. I like that because it has that pop of green and it's, it's simple yet cute. Oh look, this is so cute. It's like little sunflowers or little flowers on her nails so and then also these but these are kind of long and I don't want my nails to be long at all because they keep split like I finally took my little band-aid off of here and look it's cracked in the middle and it hurts so bad this is nice and simple but it's too simple ah where did it go do I look like a bad bitch or what? Period. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Let's go. Did right we take turns being wrong? I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy missing you when I get old. Now Julio made me fool for you. Now I hit your phone up with that ba ba ba. It's my da da da. It's my da da da. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these pieces they're causing 
no shit. You a damn drug, yeah. I see. I'm so so replay. When it lags, I get DJ. Trying to face where he's at. Trying to make a bad bitch behave. I would just wait for you. Put me away for you. Thinking I would wait for you. I feel like that took forever. I'm so hungry. That's how my nails look. Can you see it? It's hard to see. I don't know. They're super cute though. Let me get out the frame so I can focus. I'm going to show you again when we get home so you can see it better because the light in here is kind of funky. I want to show you my nails um, since we're home because I don't know if you've really seen them when we were in the car. So here they are. So freaking cute, right? Oh, my son is a hater. <laughs> I don't really like my toes, so here they are. My little piggies. Oh, Aubrey's coming. Hey girl, good morning. It's Sunday, I leave tomorrow. I am currently one hurting because I went out last night and I did too much, so I'm not in the best condition right now. But besides that, I am currently giving myself like a little facial because before I go on vacation, I really, before and after I go on vacation, vacation, I really like to take care of my skin because your skin can really change depending on what part of the world or what part of the country you're going. Um, if I don't stay on the East Coast, then some, I don't know how my skin is going to react. Um, like for example, the last time I went to Vegas, my skin was acting crazy. It was like so dry. And it made sense because Vegas is like kind of dry. I got the little desert and you know the sand and stuff over there. So it makes sense that my skin was dry, but it was so dry. And it was a problem because back then I really only wore matte makeup because my face was considered, my skin was considered oily. Now I feel like I'm combination. So I'm oil, oily to normal. Any makeup I put on, it just didn't look good. It just crackled, whatever. So I really like to treat my skin before and after to kind of prep for the new change in weather or change of environment yeah so that's what we're up to in our prep for vacation let's do the wax let's do it so this is my waxer i'll show you what it looks like i mean i'll show you the box and stuff these are the beads that i got um from amazon that's what it looks like right now can y'all see it and then i'm going to turn it on right here And then put the lid <clears throat> and it's going to melt it's also like temperature smart control so once the beads are all melted um and ready then you know it would like cut one and off and cool down and stuff like that i'm still doing my little facial so my face is crazy this is the box of the wax that i got it comes with this i don't know what these cups are for I use it to put the stick in, like, in between waxes. It comes with the popsicle sticks, different sizes for different parts of your body. And then it comes with beads, wax beads or whatever, and they have different wax beads for different parts of your body. So this one is for your nose. This one is for your body. This one is for facial so anything your face mustache eyebrows it also comes with alcohol pads more sticks it comes with these i don't know what this is for maybe i should read the directions my damn self and then at the bottom it is some more directions so all is a like and subscribe to our channel. Period. Period. Alright y'all, this is how the wax looks. Listerine, get out of here. You're not even, you're not even full. 
that's good uh at least i played my teeth right so that's how it looks so let's get started oh man i'm fucking up my um my little rug hopefully you know it dries and i could but basically you're supposed to let it dry down but not too dry this is what i used the the cup for <laughs> because i'm gonna put it on my lane do i mean is this like this i'm gonna start to this one should be done so i'm going to just like look at the it a little bit so that the end is up and then I'm going to hold my leg down. And then, am I in focus? Y'all get the gist. Hold my leg down and then pull. Yeah. I got wax patches all over my legs. <laughs> so, I'm going to do one based on when I laid them down. Real. It don't hurt that bad, y'all. I'm just traumatic. You can see the hairs on it, but I don't know if y'all can see it. Probably can't. Yeah, this wax is definitely better than the other wax that came with the box because it comes off easier and it's less painful you know and it's it like literally leaves it smooth like the other one I still was like it was I don't know it just wasn't all that this wax off my rug oh my god my husband gonna be like what the fuck did you do trying to be cute and stuff <sighs> I'm just going to tell them it's a design ouch ouch it be hurting but it don't hurt ouch, ouch. it hurts oh god damn I hit you in the face I'm sorry my leg looks after the wax it looks nice and smooth packing I'm still waiting for my Amazon package to come because I ordered some new toiletry cases and a makeup, a traveling makeup kit. I wanted something that was like more organized, especially since um, for my trip I'm gonna be in a, I'm gonna be on a really big time crunch, so I'm not gonna really have time to be like fumbling through makeup and products and stuff like that. The same thing with my clothes. That's why I am. Um, mm hmm. Good job. Take the dust paint off so you can sweep it. That's why I am organizing my outfits and events and putting them together. So we're going to do that together and you'll see what I mean. It's a little bit later in the afternoon and I'm about to pack for real. I just wanted to show y'all that I have these plugged up right now. Um, I have two of them. I'm about to, this one's charged, so I'm about to plug this one up. I actually have three, but I don't feel like looking for the other one. These are basically portable chargers. I like to keep them in my purse when I'm traveling, just in case my phone died, which I did, didn't when I went to New York. And that's why I like to do it, because our phone died once we got to New York. And the only way we could go get to our, uh, get to our hotel was to call Uber, and our Uber's connected to our phone. So, never a good situation to be in, because it was hectic. So I keep these in my purse. So that I have, you know, some juice on my phone. My room is so dark, so we're just gonna have to take a good dip. So I got the so I got the little containers um, from Amazon. They're smaller than what I thought they were. So I might not use. I just might use my regular toiletry bag that I use. So I'm gonna pack my toiletries first. And then my makeup and then my clothes and so on. Here is my toiletry bag that I always use. 
it's double sided some stuff i'm not gonna need some stuff that i have in here like the conditioner and shampoo and stuff because i have braids in so i'm not gonna really need that i need to find my other scrunchies I take a cleanser. I don't have any small cleansers, I don't think. I probably do. Is this a cleanser? This is definitely a cleanser. It's definitely small. But, yeah. I could take this one. And I think that will fit in here. Yeah. I always take a razor. Because, you know, hair be growing back fast. So, everything fit in here. Wow, I'm surprised. That's good because this is kind of big and when I carry, when I have anything big, um, I feel like I take extra shit just because, you know, it's big and have this big. So I'm just going to put all my other travel stuff back in here. Since this is all I'm really taking for my hair, I'm probably going to put some scrunchies in here. I'm going to put my little sample perfumes that I be getting from Sephora and then I have my Dolce Cabana light blue travel size perfume that I'm going to take as well. I think that will fit in there. I have this mechanical toothbrush. Uh, what is it called? It's like a sonic toothbrush. I got it from Target. I like it because it's blush. It's super cute. Everything I need for real did fit in these two pouches for toiletries. And I feel like this is very, you know, travel friendly. If I wanted to, I don't think I'm taking a, bringing a carry-on besides my book bag. That's going to have my laptop in it. But it's good if you did have that. And it's another travel toothbrush that I like to take sometimes. It goes like that. It's cool because it's, you know, small. Um, typically with my makeup pouch, I will take this, which is really cute. And the only problem with this is that... You know, it's hard to find everything. I did pick up this makeup kit. It's like a travel makeup kit. Um, I saw this on Kayla's channel. She actually got the one in black. I wanted to get marble because it's cute. I like this because you can hang it up in your hotel if you want to. It has two compartments. This is the first one. Um, and it's just got these like these mesh things. And then I also have a strap, so if you was just carrying your makeup bag by itself, you could do that, especially if you're a makeup artist. And then it has these little dividers, so you can make them as big or as small as whatever as you want to. This And it has a space up here for your brushes, which I love. And y'all, don't judge me, because most likely my brushes are going to be dirty. Because <laughs> I clean them like once every couple of months. Alright, I kind of explained this in my last vlog, but if you didn't see it, I, I don't know if you can see this, but I write down the days that I'm going to be there, so I'm going to be there Monday through Friday, the events that I plan on going to, sometimes it doesn't go as planned, but I plan it anyway, so on Monday I'm going to the pool and I'm going to brunch, so I have a pool outfit and brunch outfit, so I have an outfit for each day for each event. And I already write out the outfit, what I want. I don't do this all the time, just for a specific type of trips. Like, and then down here, I put the shoes that I'm going to wear. Over here, the bags that I'm going to bring. Equipment stuff for like vlogging, my laptop, my batteries, all of that. I write it down so I don't forget it. And then, so then when I plan the outfits, I put the outfits together in a bag like this. We use like any bags that comes with like like a zip bag like Shein. I have Shein bags, so I'm gonna use those too. I zip it up together 
in here as an outfit if you want to be extra you could like label it like day one all right so i have everything laid out now i'm about to actually put it in the suitcase i'm really like putting my stuff in these bags is another reason is because it kind of protects them and it also keeps them in this form i remember one time i was traveling and i was at the airport and my suitcase zipper broke and all of my clothes and stuff fell out first of all embarrassing second of all ew like all of my shit was on the floor and it was actually coming off the airport shuttle so if that was to happen which pray to god i hope it doesn't then it would be in these plastic container bag thing it wouldn't really matter that much like it didn't touch the floor whenever you go to hotels and they have good quality laundry bags take them so i take this and i put it in my suitcase and i put my dirty clothes in them this is a tommy bahama brand suitcase these suitcases are supposed to be really good quality and they're supposed to be like you know you probably heard about it or seen it before I got mine from Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those places. Mine look like this. I like to get unique type of colors when I get suitcases so I know when my suitcase will roll off the little thing. So I rinse the fucking shit. My um, jacket turned into a bag, like a little book bag. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's dope. The big bag I'm taking is my Neverfull Louis Vuitton bag and that's going to be kind of like my airport bag that I hold. And I'm going to have that and my book bag, which is about to be annoying. But whatever, we move. Also, put all of my jewelry in here. I got this pouch from when we went to a resort. They left it as a gift. I put all my travel, like my sunglasses, my watches, my bracelets, stuff like that in there. You could also, if you're planning your outfits, you could put your... The pieces, like the pieces of jewelry that you actually want to wear with the outfit in the bag. I don't do that because it makes me nervous. I put my Dior bag in here. Whatever bag I'm taking. I have clothes that like just pajamas and like loungewear in a hotel. I have that type of clothes. I don't put them in bags because it's cool. And I just put these in here. Nice and neat. Make sure you take all the air out of them so it doesn't waste space. And I kind of do it on the perimeter of my suitcase. And I keep the middle kind of open for my makeup bag. If that makes sense. My Nike slides. I take these because I have to wear some type of slides while I'm in the hotel. I cannot just be barefoot in the hotel. It drives me crazy the trees I'm I could put them in in my suitcase but I think I'm gonna put them in this bag only because I want to put my camera stuff in here but it definitely has a room yeah all of the stuff in the bags I like I said I put I packed everything along the perimeter so that I had space to put this in, right in the middle and then I probably put my camera stuff under here in between here so you know how they they're not gentle at the airport with your suitcase and stuff in this bag i just have my shoes and stuff it's a a loose bag yeah that's that and we're all set that's it for our vacation prep vlog i hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button comment below how you pack what you like about how i pack and what you're going to take away from this video and i'll catch you in the vlog because i'm going to end this video here but i'm going to start the vlog next so we'll see you at the airport period bye